Hi, fourth grade. Today, we're going to talk about adages and proverbs. When I think of adages and proverbs, I think of Benjamin Franklin. He wrote in Poor Richard's Almanac, and he had many famous adages, such as, a penny saved is a penny earned. Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise. Eat to live, don't live to eat. Those are just a few. Today, we're going to read a story out of this nursery rhyme book and see if we can decide what the theme of this passage is, and also, is there a common proverb that we could find to fit our theme? I'm going to start with the three little pigs. There was once three little pigs who lived with their mother in a tiny house. As the little pigs grew bigger, the house grew smaller, and soon it came time for them to go out into the world and build houses of their own. The first little pig hastily built her house of straw. The second little pig took a bit more time. He built a house of sticks. And the third little pig, who was smarter than the others, took the longest. She built a house of bricks. Now the first little pig was just sitting down to breakfast in her new straw house when she heard the voice of the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, may I come in, called the big bad wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff. And I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. And that's just what he did. Oh, help, help, squealed the first little pig. And do you know what? She ran to the house of sticks, where her brother took her in. A little while later, the brother and sister were just sitting down to lunch in the new stick house when they heard the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, may I come in, called the big bad wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the second little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. And that's just what he did. Oh, help, squealed the little pigs, and they ran and ran to the brick house where their sister took them in. A little while later, the three little pigs were just sitting down to a bubbling hot stew. Sure enough, they heard the big bad wolf outside. Little pig, little pig, may I come in, called the big bad wolf. No, you may not, said the third little pig. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down, growled the big bad wolf. Go ahead and try, said the third little pig calmly. The wolf huffed and puffed, but try as he might, he could not blow that little brick house down. Then the three little pigs heard noises on the roof, for the wolf had thought to try the chimney. Down tumbled the wolf right into the cooking pot. He hopped out and scurried away, and that was the end of the big bad wolf. The three little pigs sang and played their favorite songs long into the night. So fourth grade, what do you think the theme of this passage is? What did the pigs learn from their big sister? If you said that they learned, if you said something like hard work and patience pays off, you would be correct. That would be the theme of the passage. If we thought of an adage or a proverb that would relate to that, I would think where there's a will, there's a way, or failing to plan is planning to fail. Meaning, if you do not plan for what's ahead, your plan will fail. So the first pig and the second pig who built their house of straw and sticks didn't withstand the power of the big bad wolf. The third little pig thought through what would happen or what could happen and built their house of a strong brick. This fits both the theme that hard work pays off and it fits the proverb, failing to play it, plan is planning to fail. Now my challenge for you is to look at the PowerPoint with all of the different proverbs and adages, choose one and draw a cartoon that would fit the proverb or adage, the advice that they are trying to give to you. Remember, have fun, be creative, and use lots of color.